everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video today we're filming a type of video i've not filmed in so many months today is my december kit lineup video honestly the reason that i haven't filmed these is planning has taken a bit of a back seat this year has just been a lot for good and bad reasons <laughs> and my planning has sort of um not been consistent enough that i felt i could film a lineup video I also memory plan exclusively and so by the time I've decided which kit I'm going to use no one would care about watching the lineup video anymore so I have basically not filmed them. Um, if any of you would ever like to see them even if they're well after the time can you let me know but these videos if I post them late really don't perform well on the channel and so it just doesn't seem like it's worth filming. But anyway we are going to do my December kit lineup video because I think I am concrete enough in what I think my December kits will be that it would be interesting to show them in this video. Um, if they change, they change. That's just life. Um, but I thought it would be interesting to show you. Um, so just while we're here, I just apologise for the fact that I have this plaster on. I don't know what I've done to my thumb. Anyway, so let's start with the week of the 28th to the 4th of December. Um, this entire run is Planner Face, I'm pretty sure. And I do PR for Planner Face, so you can use my code CAT10 to save 10% on your orders and add my name in those to sell it to pick up my free freebie my freebie matches one of the kits in this lineup and so if you haven't already picked it up now might be a good time <laughs> uh but if you're planning to use that kit but anyway the first kit we have is christmas morning this came out last year and originally i wasn't going to pick it up but the more i saw people using it in spreads the more i thought i need that kit and i've decided to use it for the first week of december because my friend Emma is coming over and we're doing like a massive Christmas marathon. So it's something that we've done every year for like, as long as I can remember really, like we even during, did it during COVID completely virtually. And so we really wanted to make sure we did it again this year. And I don't think I would ever use a like pinky bluey Christmas kit for my actual Christmas week. I'm just a very traditional Christmas person. Um, but I thought that the fact that this one is like super cozy, like Emma would 100% wear this. <laughs> and I feel like this one, even though Emma's hair is like way shorter than this, but I do feel like this represents Emma and this represents me. And so... I think this is a good fit it just is like very cozy uh i was debating about a few other kits that i have that are a bit more christmas movie focused so like i have the santa claus kit from spc and that's emma's favorite christmas movie but we're not gonna be watching the santa claus so i've just decided to go for this one instead so this is what i'm thinking for that first week and it's the one that could maybe change but i think it's a good fit then for the week of the 5th to the 11th of December, I have decided to go for Christmas baking, also from Planner Face. This was the Secret Santa kit this year, which happens around Christmas in July. And I work with Anna on the mystery sets that we do, which includes the Secret Santa. And I just think that this one is adorable. <laughs> um, it's a theme that we've actually had set for such a long time and it's just i think it's a really fun one and the reason i've decided to go with with for this is that we are doing christmas with my friends we're doing a kind of friends christmas with my friends in the weekend that falls in this week and the like my friend's husband uh is such a good cook and he's going to be cooking a roast <laughs> and i'm so excited for that but we will probably make some kind of christmasy dessert for it as well and so i thought that this would just be a good fit i also just really wanted to make sure i use this kit because i just really love it and if you've been around here a while you will know that i like to have even if it's very tenuous a reason to use the kit i'm very funny about making sure the kit is like perfect <laughs> for that week and that's enough of a perfect reason for me. Um, then we have the week of the 12th to the 18th of December. And this is using Holiday Prep, which came out this year. This was up by Kinnish Jess. Really love this. And the reason I've decided to put this in this week is because we're spending Christmas this year with Stuart's family. And so Christmas with my parents is going to happen in this week. And our house is very neutral. Like, quite a lot like this kit it's a little bit more cream than this kit but i think it's like a pretty good match for what our house looks like uh so i thought that this would be a really good option for that 
Also, I think like a lot of people will probably use this for their Christmas week, which I could completely understand. It's kind of like Christmas 1.0 for us and then Christmas week will be Christmas 2.0. Um, and so I think this is a good fit. Also, there is a lot in this kit that's about like wrapping presents and things like that. And that's probably a lot of what we'll be doing in that week. So I thought that was a good fit. I also think it kind of, you know, we're going like pink, traditional, pink, traditional. And I like it when I do that <laughs> with spreads. Um, and then the final, well, it's not the final week. And I've just realised that this is sort of silly to film at this point because it doesn't include my New Year's kit. But oh well. Um, <laughs> so... Um, for Christmas week, I'm going to be using Christmas Eve, also from Planner Face with Art by Jess. This is some of my favourite art that Jess has ever done. I love it so, so, so much. And this is the one that my freebie matches. So if you don't already have my freebie, but you have this kit, may I recommend my freebie to you? Because it is, I literally picked the colours based on this kit. So it's a, it's a really good fit. And this really reminds me of Stuart's parents' house. And so I think that this is... A really good fit for Christmas at theirs and it's really food focused and Stuart's mum will make so much food for us so I think this is just going to be the perfect kit. So those are my kind of Christmassy kits and then in terms of new year so I like to do new year kits twice I like to do one in my current planner and then one in my new planner so I had picked out two new year's kits and then some New Year's art just got released like the day before I'm filming this video. And so I will actually be using that kit, but I don't have it in my hand yet. And I'm probably not going to have it until like the middle of December. And I wanted to film this video. So one of them I will just have to talk to you about. So the two kits I was originally planning was this one from Lily Blossom Designs, which as you can see is a 2020 kit. And I'd kind of got to a point where I was like, if I don't use this this year, I'm not going to use it at all. So I need to use it. And I'm, I still don't know what I'm going to do. So basically, one of these two kits will be used in my current planner. And then in my new planner, I will be using the... It's uh, this kind of ready, pinky art that Anna is releasing as an exclusive kit in Black Friday. Black Friday would have happened by the time this video goes up. So you're probably not going to be able to get that whole, your hands on that kit. Um, but that's the kit I know I'm going to be using because it's just so stunning. So that's what I'm going to be using for the New Year's week in my new planner. So yeah, in my old planner, it will be one of these two kits. So it will either be this one. Obviously, I can't use the 2020 elements, but in my head, it was only this box. But I realised the other day that this also says 20 here. It's probably not obvious enough for you to realise. Um, also, I just don't like the format of this kit. Like, this is all of the boxes, which is, is just not enough. And, like, I can't use a lot of this. Um, obviously, I can use the bottom washi, but, like, there's a lot of headers here, but I don't need glitter headers and sparkly headers. Um... I don't know whether I could maybe write on these, but they're too small to write on. So I think I've kind of reached a point where like, I don't think this kit is going to work. Maybe I could save it. I'll just save it for longer. I do. Um, I'm thinking of kind of starting a folder for like B6. Sorry, I just got really distracted because the, the house like across the way from us has the football on which makes sense but it the football hasn't started and it was showing like some kids waving like from like a, a ride or a buggy or something but I didn't realize what I was looking at was their tv and I just thought there was like kids just waving anyway um <laughs> so I am thinking of getting an album that's like has sort of kits where if I ever use a b6 planner I sort of save the kits for that and maybe I could save this for that and that would be, you know, that would make it easy with the boxes. Okay, I think that's what I'm going to do because I just, I don't think that that kit is going to fit. Therefore, the kit I'll be using in my old planner is this one from Caress Press. This is Under the Stars. This is absolutely gorgeous. It's art I've wanted for ages um, and um, finally picked it up from Caress Press probably about a year ago now. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited. I absolutely love this. I think this is very much the vibes of like our wedding venue um, so we have picked our wedding venue and set the date and stuff like that um and actually i think this is very vibey of our wedding venue um but i mean i'm it's not a wedding kit so well some people could definitely use it as a wedding kit but i'm not going to save it we, i have so many wedding kits so yeah i think that's what i'm going to be using for in fact i should now move this one to be this one <laughs> so the end of my current planner and then i will use that other one 
for the start of my new planner. So that is it. That is my December kit lineup. I hope that you enjoyed this video um, and I will be filming flip throughs of my planner soon. I am planning to do it in four separate videos again. Um, so those will be coming to you hopefully at some point this December uh, so that you can have a good look at my spreads for this year because I have not shown a single one on Instagram. So <laughs> I think it would be uh, nice for you to see what I've actually been up to in my planner. So I hope that you'll stay tuned for those. Um, but yeah, if you did enjoy this video, I'd massively appreciate a like. If you haven't already, I would love it if you would subscribe. Um, and you can also find me on Instagram at peace.love.plan. I'll also link down below to my booktube channel. So if you do enjoy book content, I do have a separate booktube channel and I would love it if you would join me over there. We very excited hit five, uh, 50 subscribers on there recently which is awesome so yeah if you would like to join us over there i would love that too otherwise i'll see you in my next video bye